let's go down to kind of the the when I say down, like kind of downstream. You got the payment companies, you know, the, the software that we integrate to. Then we go down to the businesses that integrate to them. Is there anything that a business should be doing today that's like a must do for AI? Like, hey, you know, because or a, a starting point for them to start to get in. And I'm not just the business, also consumers, because when you think about it, a lot of consumers are also business owners. A lot sure. of business owners are consumers. So it kind of works both ways. What, sh what should they be looking for and how can they get their feet wet in the, the world of, of artificial intelligence? I mean, I think the biggest thing, you know, you start talking about back office and how can you create efficiencies and do those things. There's um, a lot of ability. You mentioned form filling out earlier. I yeah. mean, that's kind of a big deal because, you know, filling out some forms is a tedious process that it's it's uh, definitely something that can be automated. Yeah. Now, you also hear the other side of the coin of like, oh, my God, we're going to lose. Or, you know, if I'm one of those employees that's doing that job right now, am I going to lose my job? And the answer is really no, not yet. And, and probably not for quite some time. And the reason being is because, as I mentioned before, somebody still has to check it. You know, right. at, the, at the end of the day, it will make you more efficient. So um, in most situations that I've seen, you know, essentially what's going to happen is it's going to make that employee more efficient. So they can do more in less time. Yep. And uh, from a service perspective, you start to go a little bit more customer facing. Uh, it's going to be what can you do from a service? The chat bots. You know, right. there's already chat bots out there, and this is not necessarily new either. But what when I type a question, it's going to infer what I'm looking for based on what I've typed in, and you know, hopefully prompt me with what the answer is. Sure. You know, take that one step further. When I call in, you know, the voice. We talked about even just like you know Siri or Amazon's Alexa or you know Google's. Um, uh, devices as well and you know what those are doing just from a you know question answer perspective it's amazing to see like and and there there is this anxiety that comes from the idea of not fully being able to grasp the possibilities of yeah. the technology and you know you listen to you know uh Inflection points, you know, books that talk about inflection, but you know, only the paranoid survive as an example. Sure. And he was historically talking about at the time when the internet was becoming a thing and the World Wide Web and electronic mail. We all these terms <laughs> now we laugh at because we're like it's email and it's <laughs> www. Right? It's just the internet, and we're starting to see this shift as well as this starts to become more common. That this is a inflection point of. Uh, that would affect several different types of businesses across the board of how we do things as we t continue to grow. The evolution and the shift over, as an example, to the offshore resource model, right? We saw yeah. a lot of that. You know, I, I see, as I look at it, this large threat to that, right? A, a lot of the offshore resource, you know, level one data entry, those types of things, I think, could be kind of part of that, you know, 2.0, 3.0 uh, scenario where it's like, well, look, we're already seeing when I go and I ask for customer service, I'm a chat bot. For sure. And I am going to walk you through this process. I've heard even some really powerful uh, voice calls with, you know, they're still, it's still not quite there. I mean, in, even in the VR world, when they're talking about kind of glasses and we just heard Zuckerberg, uh, talk about what's coming as it relates to the new glasses and their partnership with Ray-Ban and so on and so forth. Like all of these things, VR, so on and so forth, there's all, all an element of artificial intelligence that are powering or experience wise that are, that are part of that environment. Yeah, I mean, for from my standpoint and my perspective, it's you know definitely be interested to see where some of those things head from uh, you know the VR perspective too. It's it's definitely uh, something that's going to be, I'll say, in some instances, life changing. Yeah. Um, because you have people that have, I'll go down the disability path, and it's going to be you know really give them a sense of uh, the ability to experience things they've never experienced too. Sure. So you start to think about like, you know, again, generating content from an AI standpoint, you know, there's a lot of different things you can do kind of going down that path.